all you boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the voice of our core boxing. This morning, this morning, well, it's just after eight o'clock a.m. We've got Kent coming on at nine. Uh, filming in Sheffield then later at some point today, if he doesn't let me down, with Nikki Smedley. Uh, so that'll be all right, won't it? That'll be going up members area. Uh, so keep him busy. Uh, just thought I'd do a couple of videos this morning. Uh, I think he's going to go up members area or not. I think. I think we need to get some members videos out, don't we? Look after them people. So, plenty of time left in the month. So, hope you're all okay. Uh, so, smashing it this month, aren't we? Smashing it. Not bad to say they're all saying I'm back on heroin. <laughs> hey? Jesus. You know, same people putting videos of uh, cars driving into John Fury's house, which isn't even John Fury's house. They don't get no right, none of these people. But you're more than welcome to come on my channel. Keep putting videos about me, lad. Porky Corner at mail.com. Get in touch. We'll have you on Zoom in a face to face. And you can ask me anything you want. Anything. How's about that? Hey, eh? ask me anything you want, lad. Uh, save you making stuff up, won't it, to get your channel going? All right, <laughs> right. Uh, I don't know what to say here. Big Meech, Big Meech has knocked back 40% and to fight Tyson Fury. What will that mean now? Well, it means if he wants to win a world title, he's got to get his selling position, and he because they're going to freeze him out, aren't they? Best they can. He's got to get his selling position, and then all he's going to get is 20%, is he? He might be able to negotiate a little bit more, but that 40%, well, badly advised one in Joshua. But all the chickens have come home to roost for him, haven't they? So we're going to see. We're going to see what happens moving backwards. <laughs> uh, I just see him fighting... I don't know, substandard opponents. We want to see Joshua in with Tyson Fury or Wilder, don't we? The best two guys of you know the last five years. So why can't he be fighting them? Or we've, we've seen him in Music come up short twice. Uh, I don't know, maybe they might want to go to Osek third time. Maybe they might want to do, I don't know, but... I don't know. Uh, Jana Beck versus De Denzel Bentley in Vegas. What do I think to that fight? I think it's an hard fight. I think it's a really, really, really hard. I think it's a really, really, really hard fight. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, I think he'll get a decision out there on points. I'd like to think that he wins, actually, because I like I like how he's gone about his career, Denzel Bentley. Um, I just think it's an hard fight, and I don't think he could knock him out, actually. And I don't, you're not going to get a, a points win on a Bob Arum show, are you? AKA the Bob Farber. So, but good luck to Denzel Bentley. He'll get paid out there in Vegas, won't he? So, Tommy Fury, what next with Tommy Fury? I don't know. Uh, I'd like to think that Tommy Fury is going to go try and get a, a central area uh, light heavyweight title. That's what I'd like to think uh, and do it the proper way, the traditional way, uh, or maybe an English title or a Commonwealth eliminator or something. Can't be that far off a couple of uh, a couple of fights away from an eliminator. So I'd like to see that. I don't want to see him in YouTube fights because if he gets beat in one of them, he's going to show his sin up and his family, isn't he? Her, Hey ho, we'll get paid, won't we? So I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know. It's all gone quiet on the Western Front for Tommy, hasn't it? Four year Ben the same for Connor Ben. Uh Crusher. Does he deserve a four year ban? Well, if Liam Cameron can get four year for traces of cocaine, which in the performance and that's a drug, why can't Connor Ben? Hey, why? 
So I look at it. Did Eubank's sister or the father, English he calls himself, which one of them sort story to newspapers regarding Conor Ben's PED test? I want to know. I think we're entitled to know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, they all come out in wash. There's obviously a mole in the camp, isn't there? So we're going to see. But who's to blame in all this? Is it Tony Sims? No one's going to say that, because like, he's supposed to be an OG, isn't he? Tony Sims, is he to blame? What about that Dr. Usman? Oh, Conor Ben, where's blame line? Conor Blenton can come out and play victim, can't he, if he wants? Uh, but he's 26-year-old lad, isn't he? 26-year-old man. He's not a boy. He's a man. And he's at his peak of his powers and he's looking at getting banned. So has he cheated? It's in his system. People are saying, well, if he has cheated, it's in his system. If he hadn't took it, he's been spiked. So it's a cop job, isn't it? People defending him and trying to tiptoe around it. Conor Ben has failed a dope test and he's not asked for his B sample to be sent off because it's the same as the A sample. It's that same cup. It's like me having a pee in that now and pouring it into two test tubes. It's going to be the same, isn't it? Same was. So... Did board do the right thing? Well, they're saying the board knew from the 23rd, didn't they? So why did they act then? Why did it take 13 days to, to deal with it? Hey. Um, so that's, it's madness, isn't it? So what about Bricktop coming out, eh? Spitting fire. Shoulder roll were on fire, though, wasn't it, Franks, eh? Could you imagine trying to put a combo on Frank? You'd not get near him, wouldn't you? He'd be like Matrix. You know what I mean? It makes Archie Moore, the mongoose, look tame. Doesn't he, with that shoulder roll? He comes at you like that, doesn't he, Frank? As soon as you fire one, he's like that, isn't he? He's all over the place. Makes Tyson Fury look clumsy. But uh, old Bricktop's telling Conor Ben, look, come out and own it. Um, and uh, put them in, I'll give you it. You know, come and tell the truth. Because somebody's giving it, aren't they, if he's took it. And if, if he hadn't took it knowingly, somebody's going to have to say, I spiked him. And I think that's the only route they can go now. I didn't know I'd had it in my system and they were trying to get me to, to, to be better. And somebody spiked me and look, they're going to admit it. Because you're going to get note for that, are you, at court? They're going to have to look for a scapegoat. Who's going to be the patsy? That's what I want to know. But the silence is deadly. Silence is golden, isn't it, at the moment? We can't shut any air up 12 year interview after interview after interview, bragging off about doing 80 and 90 interviews a day, every day, day in, day out. But yet we can't get no out of him at the moment. Why is that? Why is that, Edward? That's what this is, Edward. <clears throat> Old Eddie Hills, the 5 and 0 ice man from Billy Ricky. Free by way of. <laughs> Free by way of. The only footage we've got is him knocking Spotty Frank about. Hey. Eh? The Gad. The Gad's impressed me this week, you know. It's quite been quite impressive with his stamps on drugs, but if it were Tyson Fury, would the Gad be so impressive? Just curious, you know, just curious about that because he's everybody's friend, isn't he, at the moment, the guard. But I'm very impressed by his stance on PEDs and Adam Cattrall. So, very impressed. So, let's see if they've got that same energy and anybody else fails. Let's see if there's the same energy. Let's see if somebody at Sky fails. Let's see what they've got to say then. There's got to be no tolerance for this. No tolerance whatsoever. Would we have heard about this Conor Ben drug test? Would we have heard about it? If they didn't get reported to papers. No, I don't think we would have done. I think they thought they were going to do a Dylan White Rivers job on us. But they come unstuck, didn't they? But I want to know why is Eduardo gone missing? 
Missing in action, Eddie John Hearn. Edward John Hearn from Essex. Missing in action. Where are you? Where are you? Don't panic, Mr. Mannerin. <laughs> Don't panic, Mr. Mannerin, says the man with the best teeth in boxing. <laughs> Why only one interview with Cooks? Four questions asked in 43 minutes. Four talking points. And Eddie just ran with it. 43 minutes. And that were it. So nothing about when was the test, the first one, the UCAT, the, the, the VADA, and when was the UCAD one? How long was it between them? So all right, saying, yeah, but he passed the UCAD one. Yeah, but he failed the VADA, but how long were it in between? Were you coming off a cycle? It's going to be interesting to see what happens moving backwards. Was Coogan Cassius weak in the interview, or has he just got to think about his family and access to Eddie Hearn? Because, you know, when you're getting 300,000 views of Eddie Hearn, you know, you're getting a good few quid out of the job, aren't you? you know, there's a good couple of grand there on Premier Ads for Coogan. So to lose that one every month or one a week with Eddie, well... It's gonna, it's gonna be like cutting your legs off, isn't it? But uh, so, who's the top dog at the moment? UK boxing. Who's the top dog promoter wise? You'd have to say Brick Top. He's at the top of his game now, isn't he? You'd have to say Eddie's slipped down off his perch. Brick Top's back on his perch. I think Eddie knows that. He's out of heavyweight business, isn't he? He's out of nearly every business at the moment, isn't he? If Canelo messes him about, meaning if Heyman or any of that other lot put an offer out to Canelo and tie him up, that's then you're back on small hall, isn't it? What's he going to do then? We've got Devin Haney. Oh, Devin Haney. I mean, he's got Ben Davis in the corner, and he's a uh, cut man, is he? Or... Spit bucket carrier. Oh, big shout out to Russ Gerard. How are you doing, Russ? Hope you're well. We're doing some fantastic work with Vidi O'Reilly. Come on, see me again, lad. Oh, good lad, Russ. And a copper here with me. Proper lad. Proper East End lad. So, oh. Roman Fury beat Ryan Ibbett. On, oh, on, in a cruiserweight contest at Donny Racecourse the other day. So, he's 1-0 now. Southpaw. Uh, it's got that elusive style, I think. I think they all teach them that, don't they? Uh, so, we're going to see. I personally think Roman Fury is an orthodox fighting as a Southpaw, but so were Henry Cooper, wasn't he? So, Andre Ward... Andre Ward fought as a, a southpaw, but he fought as an orthodox, didn't he, Andre Ward? So, it's, it's whichever way you're comfortable with, isn't it? But, but I thought, you know, he did a good performance on his debut, and it, I've seen people in me a lot worse on the debut. Uh, but big shout-out to Nick Manners, who, uh, who has been helping Roman Fury. So, good luck to Nick Manners. Uh, let's hope Nick can get a few quid out of the job. He's been... Involved in boxing years, and he's not a yes man. So, and he's not an ass licker. So, good luck to Nick Manners. Derek Chisora versus Tyson Fury. That's rumoured for December. I don't believe it. I don't believe a pair of them fight this year. Uh -uh. So, I think it's just people come out and pay lip service to keep the sends in, in, uh, in loop. But I don't think Tyson fights this year at all. If he does, good luck to him. But I don't think he does. That's my opinion. Looking at his past fights and gaps between them, he's too close in it for him, really. That's what I think. But, you know, he likes to get his son out there every single day. Likes the camera in front of him. So there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Well, I don't think he fights this year. If he does, and it's Derek Chisora, well, more fault fans will pay for it because I won't be paying for it because it's a dog with fleas, isn't it? The dog with fleas. Is Eddie Hearn on the rack? you say so, wouldn't you? you say it's most stickiest. Uh, time for him, wouldn't you? That he's out in boxing. I mean, trying to put a fight on. 
with somebody that's failed for performance enhancing drugs. It's in bad taste, in my opinion. Very, very bad taste. Uh, and any blocking people who are asking any questions on social media, just block, 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 block. Well, you've had a 43-minute sit-down after all this with your best mate in media and there were soft questions. We want to see somebody give you an hard time, Eddie. You know, you don't you don't fault one under pressure, do you? You've had it all your own way, and when you don't, you will cry, baby. You can't have it all your own way. You've got to set rough with smooth, and then when you have the highs in life, Eddie, you appreciate it. It's like me. I've had a few highs lately. I'm not talking drugs. I'm talking just things that are happening with my channel and other things in my life. But there's times where you get lows, isn't there? And you've got to appreciate. The, the highs, you've got to appreciate the lows, haven't you? You've got to think, oh, this has been worth it kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? For, if you've had tough times and stuff, but well, it's all good, isn't it? But Eddie just has it all his own way. When he doesn't get it his own way, he takes his ball on, doesn't he? I mean, not doing interviews. Come on, Eddie loves a good interview, doesn't he? He should be coming out and explaining. Conor Ben should be coming out and do, explaining. Conor Ben's got a YouTube channel where you're from a cameraman on books. Following him about filming him all the time, but yet we can't get a peek out of him, can we? Why is that? If you were innocent, you'd be screaming from rafters, wouldn't you? And you'd be saying, get that B sample sent off because it's only only chance I've got. Maybe A sample got contaminated when they were doing it all. So B sample should be bang on, so at least test it. So they've been cheating. They're going to swerve that B sample. That's why they jumped in with the other one, isn't it? You can to cover their asses and have a test. We've covered all that, haven't we? But uh, Errol Spence, Terence Crawford, best fighting boxer at the moment. It looks like that's not even going to happen now. So, what is going on here? Two defeated welterweights. Unbelievable. It's a bit like Fury AJ, isn't it? That ain't happened, does it? Ben Eubank can't have Fury AJ ain't happened because too many cooks spoil the broth. Ben Eubank. And happened, does it? Because one of them's been caught PEDs in it. Do you know what I mean? But is it all doom and gloom? Give me something positive. We've got Clarissa and Savannah in a few days. That's positive, isn't it? Wilder against Elenius coming up. That's positive, isn't it? Wilder ices in. Savannah ices Clarissa Shields. That's my opinion. Are we in a situation where these days where nobody's fighting? Well, I think we are. I think that uh, I think it's the man in the mirror moment. A lot of people in boxing need to look in the mirror and say, am I doing myself justice here? Or am I just blagging it? You know, blagging it. A bit like Bell, you in it, with all them vacant belts, but telling everybody he's a real champion. Blagging it. When he puts his head down on that pillow at night, he knows. He's distraught about it. Do you know what I mean? Distraught. I would be. You can't go around and say you this and that. And if you've done it at my level, then you can talk about boxing. Well, we haven't done it at your level, Tony, but you're talking like you're a pound for pounder. Your claim to fame is you got flogged by two southpaws, Stevenson and Usek. Flogged, put to kit. That's your claim to fame. And you're still dining out on OSEC loss now, like it's a badge of honour. You should be embarrassed with that performance. After all that chat, 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 chatty patty that you gave it. But uh, hey ho, hey ho. But uh, pleased to say we've got 6 million views. Not bad, 2,000 videos, 6 million views. I've been going five months next, five years next month. I don't know really took it serious after three years, but. So we're going in the right direction and we're going to change it up a little bit in the next couple of months. Keep you all on your toes. Some big changes are going to be happening with the channel. So that's good, isn't it? Good positive stuff. Keeps me busy, doesn't it? All right? I think that's about it, really. I think it's time to get Kent on. I wonder if he's got a bird. I wonder if he's been out and had a pint. We'll soon find out, won't we? At nine o'clock, half eight. So I think I'm going to mosey next door.
You took Jim and do a bit of uh, bit of back and biceps, bit of T-bar rowing, and finish off with a few bicep curls. But I'll go up there and uh, see Nicky Smedley, CP48. What if his dad will be there? Okie dokie. So everybody have a great day. Peace out. Big shout out to Frank from Berry. Hope you well, mate.